Hey guys, today is Tuesday and I am walking to our office right now and there's uh, some kind of truck cleaning the road behind me or in front of me right there. But uh, today we are going to talk about our new update. So let's go to the office and let's talk about it. Hello everybody, hello and welcome to Pixel Worlds. My name is Jake and I am the community manager here at Pixel Worlds headquarters. Today I'm going to talk to you about our new update, the platformer update 1.0.6. In this update we bring a lot of new features, a lot of new functionalities and a lot of new ways to play the game. After this update the game won't be the same. It is going to take me a while to tell you everything about this new update, so make yourself comfortable and let's go inside the game and I'm gonna show you what is coming tomorrow. Okay, now we're inside the game and as you can see it almost looks like exactly the same as before. But on the top right here we see top rated worlds instead of world of the week. As you can see from the top left corner here we are on the development environment right now. So that's why some of these worlds are not named correctly that you are about to see. So let's click that top rated worlds right here. And now from the top left here you can see the world of the week tab. And it will show you all the previous worlds that have gotten the nomination world of the week. Now let's go to the second one and that is weekly top rated. You guys must have guessed top rated worlds. Yeah, we're going to add a world rating system. Let's talk about that a little bit later. There are probably gonna be like hundreds and hundreds of worlds here, not right? Like you see. So we need a way to actually see um, what we want to see here. So let's click filter and uh, we can choose trade world, platformer, farm, hangout, info, story, pixel art, work or unfinished. For example, let's choose platformer. We want to play a platformer, a parkour level. And uh, let's see, first one here, Omnigon rating Gapu. One ratings and four stars. Let's go check it out. And here we go. We are in that world. And oh, wow. Look at this awesome parkour level. Oh my god. But now we can rate it. You need to have this rating board in your world to rate something. So let's click that. And now we can rate this world. We can choose three, four, five stars, whatever we want. Let's choose five stars yeah this is an awesome world and hit done now it automatically turns to 4.5 another way to rate worlds is to press this button over here and we can always come and change our ratings so we could change that to one or we could just do five let's exit this world and go to our own and buy ourselves a rating board First, of course, we need a tag like I showed you before. So what kind of world it is? You need to have world locks, as you can see from the top. World lock owner, Jake. And now world lock rating, not yet rated. First, let's add a tag. So yeah, I, I think this is a hangout world. Let's hit that. And then here, no rating board. So we need to go to the shop and buy a rating board for that. Item packs, special items, and rating board yes thank you very much now we're gonna take the rating board from here put it to the ground for example here this is a good place and then we can just hit this and rate it let's rate ourselves five it's my own world and we can see five stars Okay, now let's talk about our death counter. I just made this small parkour right here. And uh, what we need is a checkpoint. So we have death counter. Let's choose the number of lives we have in this parkour. So let's change that, for example, to three, two, three. Three is good. Maximum number is 100. Okay, so now we take this checkpoint and then we jump here. 
So now we die. We have two lives left. Then if we die again, we have one. And when we go to zero, it is going to be game over. And it is going to be teleporting us back to the world entrance portal. And now that we go take this checkpoint, we lose all the checkpoints at the same time. So we go here and we can see, oh, our lives reset. So you can choose how much lives player has and how many tries he can have to try out and complete your world. So that is how it is going to work. Now, this little block here. I even ask you guys in Instagram, what do you guys think and how it's gonna work? And uh, the best comment gets bronze VIP. I'm gonna actually ramp it up for silver VIP. I'm, I'm gonna choose two silver VIP winners in this episode. So stick around and um, I'm gonna say it at the end of this video. All right, so how this is actually gonna work the scoreboard has no scores yet. A player needs to go through start and finish points to get the score recorded. We need a start and a finish line. All right, so how this is gonna work, I just removed the scoreboard just to show you guys from start to finish how this works. So let's go to the shop, let's sit back, and item packs, and here, special items. Dash pack is the one that we want. From dash pack, we get scoreboard, we get start line, finish line, and of course, we also get checkpoints. Let's buy one of these. Thank you, we get three checkpoints. Thank you very much. Now, let's place a scoreboard here where it were last time. Placing it down, right there. Then what we need, of course, is a start line, okay? Start line is going to be here. Okay, let's re remove that and now thank you start line and here we're gonna add the finish line so we see the score when we get here right now it is ready and we don't have to do anything else except of course start the race now we're ready to start the race, so let's go and go, go, go! And from the left side, you can see that the numbers start to run over there. And that's the time that you are having right at this moment. So you can see it. Run, 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 run. Oh, oh no, 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 no. And it, oh, I jumped over it. And here, 14 seconds. That's the time I got. So let's check it out from this. And open it. Oh, yeah. Number one, Jake zero deaths in this course so 40 seconds zero deaths that's my score right now of course i can take a wrench and uh, i can reset it and then if we look at it again this scoreboard has no scores yet so so that's how you use the scoreboard and of course it's gonna show other players as well and you can compete who gets the fastest time on your level on top of these great features, I'm gonna go into the shop and show you what else we have. Just a quick glance, because there are so much new items and features that it would probably take me a half an hour to show you guys everything. So let's go to the item packs. Uh, there's a new booster that is called the Platformer Booster. And there are a lot of new blocks that you can use to create your parkours. And then there are these special items. Uh, dash pack, of course, you saw that it has the scoreboard start and finish lines and of course um, It has a few checkpoints in it as well rating board then a price box So you can use this uh, price box to um, Place it to the end of your parkour and people can walk right on top of it and get prizes from it Let me show you just how this works for example, I'm gonna add it here and then I'm gonna place something inside of it. For example, I'm gonna add lava blocks. Except, close it. You run towards it and oh my god, I can get it and bling, you get one. You can only get one item from it and for you to get another one, you have to leave the world and come back and do the whole parkour or whatever level it is again. Then there is the death counter that I showed you guys earlier. That is how a lot of the things inside the game will work from here on out. Of course, that is not everything, so remember to go inside the game and check it all out yourself. We also had a competition this Saturday on our Instagram where you 
um, had a chance to actually guess what this blog does. And in the Instagram, I said that the best comment will get a free VIP. Uh, what I'm going to do, instead of bronze VIP, I'm gonna give you silver VIP and I'm gonna make two because we got like hundreds of comments. So let's go and check out the winners from our Instagram. Just a second, I'm gonna open it up. So instead of one, we are going to choose two. And the first one, this is the funny comment that came as a random. And it is... It could be ah, intense breathing, mm, a dinosaur race, an alien spaceship, and dinosaur. And mm, it will give you thousands of parkours. Yes, that is it. Yes, oh me. No, this thing. <laughs> Congratulations, you win yourself a silver VIP. That is VIP time for 22 days. And the second one, this... This comment is, to be honest, it's true. Um, Ash Green Ninja. My final answer, a scoreboard is a large board for publicly displaying the score in a game. Yeah, that is true. Uh, most levels of sport from high school and above use at least one scoreboard for keeping score, measuring time and displaying statistics. Scoreboards in the past used mechanical clock and numeral cards to display the score. Yeah, you're exactly true, and that is what our scoreboard does in the game as well. It shows you the time and it also shows you how many lives you used in that course. Thank you guys for watching this episode from Pixel Wells YouTube channel. Leave a like and comment down below. Did you like our new update? What do you think about it? And what do you think about our new features, ratings? Uh, scoreboards and everything related to those subjects. Also, go inside the game, test it out, because I didn't tell you everything that we just added into the game. Go check it out, and as always, guys, I'll see you in Pixel Wells.